This is my makeup basket recap for the month of August. A lot of the products that I had this month were things that I always use or were Project Pan or Pan App Palette or something like that. So I really only have face and eye products that were different this time than they had been last time. So this month I added in the Etude House Color My Brows and I'm not sure what color this is in but it's, it's actually a whole lot lighter now than my hair color. It looks like this but it actually works okay. Someone had told me in the comments when I got the Mimi box this was in that it was sparkly. I don't really see sparkles in it. If there are, they're not enough to bother me. At the moment, it's just kind of the wrong color. However, now that it's open, I'm going to use it and put just like a darker uh, color over it. I don't love it. It's okay. I would never buy it again, judging from the month that I've been using it. For blushes, I had three. In the first two weeks, I used Max Tenderling, and it's just this very basic blush right here. And this is actually my oldest MAC blush. And I actually really do like it. Then I had, in the second two weeks, the MAC Azalea Blossom blush and the MAC Beauty Powder in Alpha Girl. And that looks like this. Uh, the problem with all these blushes is that, and, ev and even this one, is that I've been using a lipstick as a cream highlight. And it's very bright. It's actually got blue on it right now because <laughs> I was layering it. But this color right here, and it's really opaque. It's very bright. So... Unfortunately, all the blushes that I've been using over the top of it have really just turned out kind of the same color. It's not the fault of the blushes, but they haven't been all that useful, and I haven't really seen any like difference in color because of those. Then I had two highlighters that I used this month. The first one was the Benilico Friday Night Highlighter. And it's like this. And this was all right. It was a highlighter. And then the next one was the Maybelline Blissful Pink Highlighter. And truthfully, I don't really see this on my skin. Like when I put it on here, I don't really see it. It doesn't really have an added highlight effect over whatever cream one that I'm using. Which... Um, I don't know where it is, but the Urban Decay Moonshine Cream one I've been using, and I've also been using the highlighter in this, which is the M Cosmetics Contour and Highlight Stick in Fair, and that's what the highlighter looks like, so I've been using that as a cream highlighter on my cheeks, and this just does not add anything to it. And then I had a few lip products this month that I added in. The first two weeks, I added in a neutral just because I was getting a little bit tired of the same colors that I had. So I had the Silk Lip Liner from Ofra that I usually have when I'm doing a nude. It looks like that. And it looks like that. And I actually really like this lip liner for the color. I'm not a big lip liner person in general, but I do like that one. And then I used the little Urban Decay Mini in Liar. Like that. And I actually really like that too. I did buy a full size of that uh, in July, I think. Then in the second two weeks, I had two lip products that were designed to go with my Great Pink Planet one that's in my Project Pan, as well as, you know, something that I could still work with the Benetint on. So the first one was the No She Didn't Lime Crime Lipstick that's this blue. And the second one was the Hope Flash from Milani in Hot Flash, which is a sparkly red. And I actually have both of those on with this in this purple color. Uh, I found that 
No, she didn't. With Great Pink Planet, it was too pastel, like too lavender, which really also does not look good on me. But this added more red to it, so it didn't look quite so lavender. I'm not sure. I still love it, but even, you know, even if I had neutral eyes, I'm not sure that I would love this either. Purple, I actually do like, but I prefer darker purple. So, yeah, I mean, they're... They did their job. I actually do like these Hope Flash ones. I don't think they sell them anymore. And then in July, I started Pan That Palette. So I picked my eye products based on what I felt like I could pair with neutrals or use some part of those shadows. Also get a good bit of use out of my palette. So in the first half of the month, I just used this Z palette. Ooh, reflection. And this just has a bunch of random shadows. I have all the little elf ones, some marks, some nicks, and just some other random things. So I mostly used this purple one. You can see it's got a huge amount of use on it. This one right here, and this one, and just a little bit of this one to try to work with purples. I tried to use that layered over the blue liner from my project pan, the the radium liner, and I hated it. I hated it a lot. So uh, I only did that like I think once. But the one that I really did like is I used this one here, and that's Mint Julep from Stars Makeup Haven. I got it on All Cosmetics Wholesale at some point. And then this pink and this like reddish pink. And then I use this as a topper for my liner. And that one I actually really did like. Then in the second half of the month, I went for more summery colors because I wanted a little bit of color and I was trying to find new ways to use that blue. That seems to be how I'm trying to pick things. Is how can I incorporate that blue eyeliner that I really, really don't like and make it work for me? And sometimes it works and sometimes it does not work. So the first palette that I had was, and they all seem to be actually very similar colors in these palettes. So it was just whichever one that I happened to be doing. So the first one was the Urban Decay Deluxe Eyeshadow Palette like this and I mostly used this one here which is honey I used a little bit of fishnet ransom and then I topped my liner with this color right here which is peace and I didn't really use any of these other ones and I've always really liked this palette I had bought it because I had wanted honey as a color and also fishnet. And I was going to buy those singly, and it was a better value to buy the, the little palette. So I actually do like some of the other colors, but these two are my favorite. I also used the Too Faced Summer Eye Palette, and this was the first release of it. I know they changed some of the colors in the second release of it. And it looks like this. And I basically just used these three right here. This one I used as a liner topper. And then just those two on the lid. Basically the same as I've done with the other palette. Then I had some MAC singles. I had some blonde, saffron, and Surf USA from whatever... What collect I maybe Surf Baby was the name of this collection. I don't remember. And that is what I've got on today. And you can see, just like I was saying in those other ones, basically this is the kind of look that I've worn just out of the various palettes. And I actually really like these MAC shadows. I had forgotten that. Because I tend not to use the singles so much, and I need, really need to. Because I did like these, and the reason I didn't depot these 
is because they have that packaging. That's everything for my makeup basket recap for the month of August. If you haven't already, check out my previous video to the side and also my Project Pan Roulette intro, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.